Hey, Space Watchers, and good afternoon. It is almost the end of the first day here at GeoInt in Orlando. And I have with me now the person that runs the show, literally, the CEO of the USGIF, Rhonda Frank. Rhonda, how are you doing? I am doing really well, Torsten, and welcome to the 2024 GeoIN Symposium. I understand this is your first of many GeoIN Symposiums. It is the first, and let's see. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm try to work on the on the first one here, and it's, it's just the first day, so to say. Yeah. All right. But first of all, congrats to the 20th anniversary of. Um, USGAF and for this really outstanding moderation this morning to open the show. That was fantastic. Thank really you. I enjoyed it was, it. It was really fun. What do you find most exciting about the first day of the show here? I am most excited about the energy. So yeah. we've brought in more than 4,000 of our closest friends from over 30 countries, right, right. including yeah. 450 international visitors. You are one of those international <laughs> visitors to talk about the, the full spectrum of the geospatial intelligence community. And as we heard our speakers say this morning on the main stage, not only looking at Earth intelligence, but everything that has to do with the, the Earth upon yeah under and, and above the earth um, that, that affect um, our national security, our collective national security. From seabed to space, as you, I say. You got it. Yeah, that was one phrase I picked up at the DGI um, earlier this year. So, um, what were some takeaways from the discussions on main stage this morning for you? So, I know there was a, a huge program and the density was enormous, but Give us a few takeaways for our audience. Absolutely. So we had the Principal Deputy Director of National Intelligence, the uh, Honorable Stacey Dixon, to, to kick us off. And then we had Lieutenant, Lieutenant General Miller from Space yeah. Force, and we had Admiral Whitworth from NGA. He's the Director of NGA. And one of the themes that I heard from all three of them was the theme of innovation, that, that we've come a long way in the 20 years yeah. of USGIF and the GEOIN Symposium, and we can't stop there. Uh, we heard our chairman of the board, Robert Cardillo, said no spiking the proverbial yep. football that we need to keep moving. So innovation and, and constant innovation is paramount. In addition to that, the U.S. doesn't do anything alone. If you, yes. you look at your, your history books, we need partnerships. We need international partnerships. We need partnerships between industry, government, and academia. And, and partnerships with it. Yeah, I see. As we have the entrance of the exhibition hall here, um, direct behind us, what are you looking forward to seeing in the exhibition hall? I mean, it's also very dense, it's very loud, and the reason that we are here on the hallway is because it was simply too loud inside. So, what is in there? So. So it's the size of a football field. Yeah. We, it's a sold out exhibit hall with over 300 exhibitors and three stages for speaking. Mm -hmm. The things that I look forward to are learning about new technology, seeing and talking with the creators, the developers, the, the people that are executing technology, um, analytics, computer vision, the ingestion of artificial intelligence with all kinds of, of imagery. And we gave yeah. a little bit of a sneak peek to that on the main stage this morning. And then I really enjoy listening to the thought leaders that are speaking on those three hubs within yeah. the exhibit floor. I think these examples you mentioned this morning were really striking for me because it was one of these moments where you see what GeoInt is and what GeoInt does. It's not just this mysterious data analytics, it's really to see that's what we do and that's why we do that as well. Absolutely. 
and the question. <laughs> there was no question. It was just an obser observation no, for I me. I loved it. So I, I mean, it, for me, it was very exciting yeah. to, to be on the stage. And we had so many of our partners submit potential yes. examples to show. And, and we only showed a, a small for, yeah. smidgen of what the community is doing. So the rest of that is, is right behind That's us on that exhibit floor. So, I mean, after Geo in Symposium is before Geo in Symposium, if we look two days ahead. Um, what other events does the USGIF do throughout the year? Oh, thank you for asking that. So U United States Geospatial Intelligence Foundation, we are a foundation built 20 years ago to help build this tradecraft of geospatial intelligence to spur innovation, and, and we heard that drumbeat today yeah. on the main stage, as well as to build our community. So in addition to being together for this full week, we come together throughout the year. We have a program that is called Women as Leaders, it's a three-part series. We have an annual Geo Gala. This year's recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award will be Kevin O'Connell, and I know that he is often on your program. We'll be honoring him on December 5th, 2024, in Northern Virginia. I hope that you'll make the flight over for that. Um, and other programs throughout the year. Let's have a look, a closer look into the Women as Leaders program. What does it entail? So tell us more about that. So um, interestingly, it all began on a yoga mat. I, uh, of course. I was, yeah, of course, yes. Of course. I, I was at a, a yoga class and uh, the woman beside me, when you have a really particularly physical, hard yoga class, you, you really don't look at people beside you, but you can feel them. And I loved her energy. So I said it at the end of a class. Fast forward, we struck up a relationship as friends. She invited me to come lecture at her women's leadership class at American University. From that class, I said, wow, I need to bring this to our national security team. And we did last summer. It's a three-part series from experts on women's issues to identify characteristics that are not solely unto women, right? Yeah. They're to, to all humans, and sometimes more unto women. Um, for example, not having enough courage to apply for a job, to not applying for a job if you don't have all of the characteristics that are described in the application, whereas perhaps a man might go ahead and, and throw his, his hat in the ring. Um, so the purpose of this seminar is to identify things like that, which rang true for me, and to identify strategies. Mm. A lot of our success is not incumbent upon other people yeah. to provide it for us. It's for us to educate ourselves, to learn how to be comfortable and confident, and to grow together. My observation from these 4,000 participants uh, that you mentioned, there is a good amount, a good level of a percentage of women here in the, in the room or in the audience. Is that still a wrong perspective or is it just more than in other um, uh, conferences? So, do you have an idea about the percentage of women attending this year? I don't have a percentage for this year. And yes, we are growing, and okay. it's something that I notice as I, I go to conferences. For sure, when you look at any USGIF um, on-stage okay. collaboration, panel discussion, you will see diversity, and diversity comes in all forms. So diversity of age, diversity of geography, uh, diversity of gender and background with intention. Yeah. We want to have a diverse offering, which is shown time and time again to be a more productive uh, approach. See. My last question to you, and it's a personal question. So what is your favorite part of being the CEO of USGIF? I don't think I have one favorite. Um, some of the favorite things that I like are getting to meet people like you, Thank right? you. And, and learn and grow with the community to work with a first rate team at USGIF. The staff that we mm -hmm. have is spectacular and, and we use the L word with each other all the time. We love working with each other and to be able to drive 
progress in our community to be able to accentuate the positive, to be able to make those connections and introductions in support of our collective uh, global security. Ronna, thank you very much uh, for, for your time. I know you have a very busy schedule and please stay as inspiring as, as you are. It's, it's, it's great to follow you. And with that, Space Watch out for today. See you tomorrow. Bye.